I can confirm that there have been two further deaths that we are linking to the investigation into deliberate contamination of medical products at Stepping Hill Hospital. Very sadly, an 83-year-old man has died this morning and my thoughts are very much with his family at this terrible time. This gentleman has always been part of the ongoing investigation and Greater Manchester Police Family Liaison Officers have been in contact with his family throughout this period. The second person is an 84-year-old lady who died on the 14th of July and because of the measures that the coroner, Mr John Pollard, has put in place, a post-mortem examination took place on the 19th of July. As a result of the medical procedures, Mr Pollard has referred that case to us and to a Home Office pathologist to undertake a further post-mortem. Again, my thoughts are very much with her family at what will be a terribly anxious and sad time for them. I would like to reiterate that this is a complex investigation and we are awaiting the results of medical tests to confirm the causes of death of all those that we are currently investigating. It has widely been reported that a 27-year-old woman is currently in custody having been arrested by Greater Manchester Police Detectives. Her custody continues and it would be inappropriate for me at this time to comment any further on that part of this investigation. I would very much like to reassure people that both of the deaths that are now forming part of this investigation occurred prior to the police being called and since the police have been investigating and the measures have been stepped up in terms of security at the hospital we have had no further incidents of deliberate damage or contamination of products within Stepping Hill Hospital.